friends today i will tell you how to use lab view for image processing for that purpose you have to install vision and motion toolbox to your lab view so in this as you see on the block diagram window in functional palette i have vision and motion toolbox as you see over here this is my vision and motion so i just lock it over here for image processing i just need this one vision utility and image processing toolbox okay if i go to our front panel window over here also you can find out the vision toolbox as you see over here this is a vision toolbox for the image processing i just go to our block diagram window over here first we have to save our image so let's go to image vision utilities image management or here you can find out imaq create it is just like other like in the data acquisition case we just create a channel so or here create a image okay so over here to save a image you have to just create a constant so let's say my input image name is my name salim and over here you can select the type over here you can find out like gray unsigned 8 its range is 2 raised to 8 that is maximum 255 then gray scale integer 16 and other formats also available i just use in this case gray scale u8 unsigned integer 8 okay so next i have to read file so for the read file i just go back in the files or here you can find out i am make you read file to you have to just drag and drop over here so connect new image to the image as you see and over here you have to create a path so to create a path i just go to strings and file control path so i just name it input so just go back connect this so it will take the path of image and over here this is the use file path image type so create a constant right now i'm just make it true so next in this i just use a classic image to display the image so just go back over here in the vision toolbox you can find out image display classic i just put it over here and this is my real image so i just make it real okay so over here i just go back and connect it to the image so go back select the image right now in the pictures over here this is my image i just select the path so as you see and when i hit on run button you can check it is zoom so i just zoom to fit so as you see over here i got the image 
so this is how you can acquire an image using lab view now this image have pixels so i want to work with the pixels so i just go back to image so now we have a image of real right now in this if you make it false then check out how the image behave so it is grade image over here as you see and if i make it true then i got colorful image as you see so right now i just make it false so over here i have my real image then i want to work with pixels so for that purpose go to vision utilities pixel manipulation over here you have image i am make you image to array so i want to just convert this image to array so for that purpose i make it control h and over here on the top image pixels u8 we got so i just create an indicator for that i got a 2d array as you see two parallel lines are there so i am also creating labels for this so visible item label so you so that you can see it so again over here visible item labels again visible items labels so now go to our front panel and over here you can see there is a array and in this image i have 4608 columns and 3456 rows so when i hit on run button as you see over here according to the color i got different matrix value basically this is a pixel value so over here you can put like 4600 0, let's say uh, this is a row so i put 3400 0, and over here i just put 4600 0. so over here you can find out and if you drag it so let's check i want to increase the size of this so let's say i am increasing this so total number of rows are as you see is six okay so and the number of columns are so this is my last element so from here you can check okay so this is my matrix from a image then i just go back right now i want to check or i want individual value or i want to convert this image to a negative and after that i want to flip it so for that purpose i want to convert this u8 means pixel value i am using these pixel value so for that purpose i just using a nested loop so in my previous videos you can check out what is nested loop so you have to connect this u8 so over here this is my u8 connect to the edge and when you connect a 2d array to the edge of a for loop the auto indexing tunnel is automatically turned on in default mode so over here so right now i am using u8 so for that purpose i want to 
get a negative of this image. So for that purpose, go to numeric, subtract this value from a 255 because the maximum value for you 8 unsigned integer is 255. So just connect to the edge. Then over here again I got the pixel value that is subtracted from 255 which will give me a negative. So I again use array to image function over here. So I just visible its label as you see. So connect this. check first it is a u8 is over here okay now again i have to create image i want to save the image for that purpose i just drag and copy this so my image is saved for let's say name neha because the name of this file and this file should be different so I just connect this to this image and over here I got my negative. So let us say over here this is my negative of my particular image. So connect this. So as you see close this go to front panel. So when I hit on run button, as you see, let's say I just make it blue and when I hit on run button, there are some problem in the image acquisition. This is my U8. everything is right so again just go over here i just use positive symbol so just delete it i want to subtract not add okay because i want to subtract from 255 my particular value and it will give me the result again invalid image type so just make it false and when I hit on run button as you see over here this is my grid image and this is my negative image. It directly make negative to positive means dark to positive as you see over here this is dark this is over here in this case it is white so it will convert black to white or white to black. So because uh, in this image processing let us say 0 denotes white and 255 denotes black. So when we subtract from 255 so it will convert the image from white to black ok. So as you see over here we have a negative image then after this I want to also flip this so for flipping I again use in this loop I just go for a nested loop nested for loop as you see and I this is my pixel value and I want to just reverse it so go to arrays and over here reverse one dimensional array okay so just reverse it or you can say in this case I am just not using this nested loop in case of this I am just reverse one dimensional array because inside for loop if you connect 2d dimensional array so it will so after this 
it will convert two dimensional array to one dimensional array. So as you see, so over here, I just copy it, and this is my flip image. Connect it. It is not connecting to this because I want to connect this using first I want to convert this array to image Just copy this connect this and I also want to save it so let's say Just copy this and in this it is Neha essay okay so just name it and I just copy this over here I got my flip image so let's check what happened to my image so when I hit on run button as you see over here this is my actual grade image then I got a negative then I got a flip image in lab view so over here using these functions you can use image processing toolbox in lab view thank you